All right, Gettysburg Falls on day one of the Mustang Classic. Glenn Clark alongside head coach Peter Toner. Uh, coach, I guess it goes without saying, obviously not the uh, start that you were looking for today. Um, I, I guess let's start there. What went wrong uh, in those first couple of quarters? Yeah, I mean, I get a, I got to give them a lot of credit. I mean, they came out and, uh, and shot the ball extremely well. I mean, I think we've been pretty reliant on our goalie, Scott McMillan, um, throughout the early portion of the season. And I'm not sure the defense in front of him really gave him a chance, and I'm, I'm not sure he had his very best stuff today. So when you come out and you get down that much that quickly, it's just tough to dig out of that type of a hole against a really good team. What do you, does it say about your team that despite all of that, from that point, after falling behind big, they, they battled back in, they competed, they statistically you know, outplayed um, Christopher Newport for a good part of the rest of the game. What does it say about your team, who they are, and can you take any solace in that? Yeah, I mean, I think we've got a lot of high character guys. Um, I do think they're going to fight to the end. I think that's the type of group that we have. Um, I said it coming into the game, I mean, shooting percentage was probably going to be the most important factor in this game. And I look up at one point, and I think we have 38 shots, and they have 38 shots, yet they have 17 goals on the board, and we only have seven. So uh, we still got a, a lot of work to do. We're still trying to figure out our lineup. Um, you know, we're missing a pretty big piece on offense, which we have the last couple of games, Kieran Ward, which hopefully we'll get back soon. And Again, I think we just got to do a better job of playing complementary lac lacrosse. If the defense isn't necessarily playing well or Scotty's not seeing it or we're not winning faceoffs, the offense has to pick us up a little bit. And unfortunately, we never really got that today until it was almost too late. You know, the it, there's, I guess, two ways of thinking, right? Like, you know, we'd like to get home, get away, you know, not worry about this. And then there's the other people that say, I'm glad we get to turn around and, and play a game so quickly tomorrow against a good team like Amherst. Which which side of thinking is, is more along yours? You know, I said to the guys in the locker room, like, the, the best thing for us is to go home tonight, get a good night's sleep in our own beds, and then come right back down here tomorrow and put this game behind us for now. Um, there's nothing we can do about it. The 60 minutes is, is behind us. Um, so let's get back here at 120 tomorrow and give our best effort to Amherst. And I think, you know, unfortunately for us, we've played two really good teams this year um, in terms of the ranking, Salisbury and uh, certainly Christopher Newport, who are ranked ahead of us going into the game, and, and we have not put our best foot forward in either of those games. So I still don't know how good we really can be um, against the best teams on our schedule thus far. We just we just haven't had our best stuff, and, and have almost waited until you know second half or third quarter to actually start playing the way we're capable. So I think if we can come back tomorrow, put this one behind us quickly, uh, regroup tonight, and, and get off to a good start, I think we'll be we'll be in great shape uh, against a good Amherst team. And then if I could, just, you know, the event and, and having it back this year. And I know probably not the day to talk about it with you, but um, what it means to, to you, to your program, and to the entire sport of lacrosse. Yeah, I mean, it was funny. I saw Coach Canobie coming in. The last time I was at the stadium was um, back in summer of, I think, 2015 for the U19 tryouts that we did here. And I remember, you know, being at Penn State then and just looking around the stadium saying, wow, for a Division three program, this is pretty unbelievable. And now to be here as a Division three head coach um, with the storied programs that are here, it's truly an honor. Um, it's a huge recruiting tool for us to let, you know, our prospects know they're going to play in this event and the types of teams that are at it. And it's the very best of college across, and, and you couldn't ask for much more. Um, you know, obviously, a, a, you know, a Friday, Saturday turnaround is tough, but everyone's got to deal with it. And I do think it's a great opportunity to learn what the NCAA tournament might look like in the event that you have to do that. So thrilled to be here. I know uh, it's my first year as, as far as, you know, the Mustang Classic goes for me personally, but it's an extremely well-run event um, that we're excited to be a part of every year. All right, Coach, we're looking forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Thanks for coming up and taking a couple of minutes for us. You bet. Thanks so much. He's Peter Toner. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.